So you might want to consider not updating your Fire Stick to the most recent version because you're going to be missing this really important feature right here. Now, major changes are, it's really nothing new for Amazon and their like Fire TV ecosystem. And we've talked about some of the big money making ones that they've just recently added, such as, you know, more ads on the home screen, right? They're developing their own operating system, which will give them more revenue, more control, and the ability to create a fresh new design. And we know that's pretty much coming in the pipeline very, very shortly. But Amazon is now taking away this capability that we're going to talk about today that completely changes everything. And it actually destroys a lot of apps that he, people have spent time on creating with zero chance of them changing those apps. And the capability we're talking about today uh, is right here. It's uh, ADB debugging. Now, if you don't know what this is, it might be because you don't do a lot of advanced feature stuff, such as like setting up Wolf Launcher, um, you know, some of the clear cache apps require that some of the force close apps require that there's quite a few different apps that use this one major app called uh, ADB shell. And I'm going to show you it uh, in a few seconds here, but it's where you can enter specific commands and make your, your fire device do certain things. Uh, and we're not going to get too much into that. Now, Amazon has confirmed, uh, that the change was just made to improve security, but let's be honest here. The main thing they really want to do is block you from making changes to their device because they want to maximize revenue from every single user. So by changing this and completely blocking ADB debugging, this will block a ton of features that probably were affecting their revenue. Even if it is very, very minuscule, you know, this will give them more rep with the even the advertisers because now they're saying, hey, those people are gonna see it. There's nobody blocking it. Uh, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. So I actually don't know what Amazon does here because realistically, they just lost me like $2 um, because one of the popular apps that they just blocked, so let's type it in right here, uh, tech, tech Doctor UK right here. So he has the app cleaner and the app killer. So two major apps right here. Um, but both these are basically uh, obsolete now. So I can still download it as of now. But it really doesn't do anything because, as he even says right here, ensure ADB debugging is enabled. And in fact, it seems like it's been blocked from the Fire Store as well. I don't know if it's been at re-added now. It's weird that it's showing here. But essentially what Amazon has done is they have made these apps that, and it might be because I have them purchased. That might be why it's still showing. Uh, maybe once you, you don't have it anymore, it won't show up. Um, but realistically, what this means is, although I still own this app, and it seems like I could still potentially use it, Let's see if it'll download. It really is completely useful, useless. I said useful, it's useless. And there's one other app that is now completely useless that we're gonna take a look at here. So ADB Shell is that app that allows you to do certain things. It was actually necessary for uh, setting up Wolf Launcher and it's completely gone. So it's not even in here anymore. I think that's because I don't own it. That's why it's not showing up like the other ones. Now I have installed, uh, tech doctors app and it looks like i can still use it again i haven't done an update yet so i'm not sure but we're going to talk about what amazon said about the change a little bit and let's debunk whether are, are they full of you know bs like is this actually a change uh that they needed to make or is this them just really trying to to maximize that profit okay here we go we can open up the the tech doctor app killer app right here let's launch it okay so it looks like for now it still works let's see adb debugging still working but again i haven't updated my fire tv device so we can try that right now okay let's see if there's an update here there is okay so if we go to tech doctor's tweet right here you can see that he has uh asked them about it but it doesn't look like he received uh a response here so they'll be checking back it looks like amazon help had a very generic response here which really doesn't help with anything um, but again i think it's because my device wasn't updated is why it wasn't showing at the very least so here in uh the article from aftv news i found this part kind of weird and i don't know if he just worded this wrong but he said emails shown to me from amazon stated that tech doctors apps were removed for failing tests that resulted in error message deep being displayed in the app which i think is bs from what we know uh, because clearly it's too coincidental with that ADB feature. Um, but also, I think it's weird if they actually showed Tech Doctor's emails to him. I don't know if they're saying the emails that they sent to him, which is still weird to share those emails with AFTV News. I know he has like connections because he used to work there, 
but it, it's just weird overall. Now he even states, usually they would give the developers a warning of the change. So they have a chance to actually improve their apps. Um, but they did seemingly not do that here. And they pretty much, like he said, go spans, uh, and they basically destroyed the app is what happened here. Um, now I disagree with him where he says, you know, they have to make their money. Listen, they make tons of money off these fire TV devices. And the amount of people that are actually using their Fire TV device with ADB commands is like so slow. And even the people using Wolf Launcher, where I don't think they're losing enough money to justify this big of a response. You know, like you're creating your own operating system. Let's just leave it at that. Create your system. And then, you know, everything else is fine. But at the end of the day, they are a really large corporation and they get to do what they want with their products. So if that's what they decide to do, then that's definitely what they're able to do. Okay, so I just finished the update. Uh, that must have been a big one because it took a little bit of time to both download and install. But let's see if ADB debugging is in fact gone. Uh, it could be a little bit later too because that does happen compared to the US and Canada. Sometimes the changes go in different. Let's check for an update first to make sure there's not another one. Sometimes they stack, um, but I think we'll be good. Oh, there's another update. Let's get it done. Okay, we're on try number three. It just finished another update. Let's check again if there's another update. Clearly it's been a while since I've actually updated my Fire TV device. Okay. It's saying install update again. Oh my. Okay. We are going to try this one more time. Check for updates. Your Fire tape is, TV is up to date. Oh my God. Only, only three tries there. Okay. Let's go into developers options and it's still there. We can turn it on and off. So I don't know if this is an update that's coming or if it, uh, is here on some Fire TV devices and maybe just not mine yet. Um, but for now, it's working. So enjoy it while you can. If you guys want our sponsors down below, IP Vanish. If you want to support the channel and you enjoy this content, I get a kickback. So I do appreciate when you purchase and you get a great product that you can always cancel within 30 days if you don't like it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.